Six days ago, our Minecraft server was updated to 1.20, along with each of the new armor gems placed around the world. And I didn't get any of them. Ever since, players have been gearing up in their own custom armor trims, except for me. I had my eyes on a very specific set, made out of unique materials and designs, but what makes the set so special is that different players possess each piece. To make this even harder, if I collect the piece, I'm gonna keep it in my inventory at all times. And even if it means surviving as long as it takes, I'm prepared to do anything to get this armor set before anyone else does. Out of all four pieces, the easiest one to get is probably Jaden's leggings. But the thing about Jaden is he has a very strong team. So if I wanted to get his leggings, I would need to kill him with another player. And after watching and following him around for a while, I discovered where he logged out. So I asked another player named Render if he wanted to help me attack him, which he luckily agreed to. It was the perfect opportunity. We could just wait until Jaden logged on and then get the pants before his teammates come. But then I had to go for a minute or two. And it just so happened that's when Jaden logged on. So Render started killing him, but it would only be a matter of time until Jaden was escaped or called over his teammates. And when I got back, I saw him throwing an ender pearl, so I immediately chased after him. But because we only have a stack, we have to use them very wisely. I see him, I see him, I see him. He's going northeast at damn, I need help. I don't have a boat, I don't have a boat. 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 How is he gone? He got away. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I need a new plan. Introducing my teammate, Main Pair. Now there is something very important you should know about Main Pair. His entire goal on the server is to gain power. We need he gets into fights almost daily. And every time he gets into a fight, I can try and help him, which may put me at risk, but I can also kill more players to get more armor pieces, rather than just ambushing players and they run away. So I told Main Pair next time he gets into a fight to tell me. And I would show up ready to fight. But what I didn't realize is why Main Pair was killing these players. Sure, it was for power, but after I asked to join him, he revealed to me something much, much greater than that i have everything except like the stuff i don't have i don't actually have the audio recording but he basically explained to me that he wants every piece of netherite on the server and is willing to do anything to get it no matter what I can't believe it. I was so lucky to be main pair's teammate because he would be removing all the netherite on the server, keeping it for himself. If I joined him, I could also have the netherite, which also means they're gonna go around killing players for their armor and I can get the specific ones I need. And since he wants to form an unstoppable team, this will be a lot easier than doing it by myself. But it would also be a lot of work. Every single time main pair needed help, I would have the help. I would need to mine netherite, kill players. I might even need to use some of my own resources to trade for netherite. But after I collect all four pieces, I could just leave the netherite armor team. Not like he's gonna stop me, he's my teammate. I can use this to get my armor trim so much easier. But my plan was to only fight in the battles that had the trims I needed. Because even though I'm on the team, why would I fight in a battle for something that I don't really need? And after I told him I agreed, we got to work immediately. Oh my god. Jade. There it comes. No, he's gonna go to the water. Oh, we had took Jaden down, and luckily I was able to obtain the piece I needed. But remember, I have to keep this on me at all times. Meaning the stakes really start now, because I have to collect the other three pieces without dying once. And as you saw, there were some other players helping us, even though some of them weren't on our team. But after seeing their motivations, we decided to recruit them. Meaning our team now consisted of main pair the leader, me, our teammate Spongs, Lettuce K, and Render, who is... He's on our team. There are two pieces that I can go for next. The first is a player named Jumper's Helmet. Now, since Jumper's never died before on the server, it would be very hard to get it, since she always finds a way to escape. Another option is getting Flame Frags' chest plate, but it would be very, very hard to get it, since he is the best player on the server and has also never died before. But not because he can escape, because he always wins the fight. So I would either have to convince my team to kill him, and we might win, or I would have to do some crazy trade with him. And after looking at these two options, I convinced Main Pair to go for Jumper first, since they didn't want to take on flame frags and thinking back on it killing flame last is probably the best idea since i'll have to convince my team which will take a lot of trust from them so for now all i can do is just start killing other players with them specifically jumper but we couldn't just go in and attack her we had to lure her somewhere where she couldn't escape so i went back to our base to grind levels because on the server every time you go up in levels you can actually get extra hearts which will become very necessary in surviving so i don't lose my pieces i also got myself this new shield and to be honest i just put a bunch of random patterns together to create I had no idea what I was doing. The next day, we logged on to see if anyone was online, specifically Jumper, and me and my teammate main pair met up at spawn. After seeing no one was on, I thought I should tell him the rest of my plan about getting all the pieces. 
there is a tiny chance this could backfire and he could kick me off the team since I'm just doing this for myself. But I made sure not to tell him about my plan to leave the team after getting my armor. But that's when I made my biggest mistake yet. I didn't realize that there was other people in the call, specifically Flame Frag. So when I told Main Pair about my plan to try and get his chest plate, he knew that I was going to try and kill him. So to put me back at square one, he decided to attack me. Are you sure, Will? No, 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 but the ocean is there. It's just the tunnel. Thank God. It's not even going after you. Oh, no. Green share, dog. That's Green share. Flame had killed me. He had taken my peace and all of my stuff along with it. I now had nothing. I was set below square one and my teammates were unable to save me. Luckily, I was able to get myself some more gear. But that's when we realized if our team was going to around collecting all the netherite, how would we get flame frags to set? No one has ever killed them. What makes us think we will? So then that's when we had an idea. What if flame frags joined our team? But that wouldn't be possible. You're only allowed five people on your team. Otherwise, it's against the rules and you can get banned. Meaning, one of us would have to leave the team, but no one was willing to. So we put that plan on pause until something happened. While well, main pair was defending some players, Lettuce K was going to attack them, dealing multipliers for his own benefit, down telling the team. Now we basically had to kick him off the team, but we couldn't let him know like this. So then we added flame frags to our group chat, one without Lettuce K. And we planned a time where we would betray Lettuce, kill him and take all of his stuff, revealing the new team. Was this really a good idea though? Should we kick Lettuce off our entire team just to get flame on our team? I mean, what he did was kind of bad, but, but I was was planning to leave the team after getting what I wanted. Is that any different than him going out to get kills by himself? Maybe. But if I wanted to finish my plan, I couldn't worry about lettuce. I was tempted to warn him about what was coming, but I couldn't. I needed that set, and this was my only chance of getting it. After all he's done for me on the server, it's sad to see him get betrayed, but it had to be done. I want to end this season with that armor set in my possession, so I have to do what it takes. Just gave me this. Oh, let me pot up too, so I don't even have to. Where am I putting like, that? Yeah. Just all right, I'll, I'll be right here then. Will, yeah, I got some. Will they splash? Yeah. Okay, now get out, get to the obsidian, and log off. Like, get out of the hole. Now, our final team was created, and we would be the ones to remove all the netherite. Well, I get my trims. And yes, Flame Frags joined our team, but would that make it easier for me to get his chest plate? Maybe after this, he would trust me and give it to me. Maybe he wouldn't though, since, since I'm doing this for my armor set, and I'll be leaving after. Hopefully, he won't find out, though. and maybe I'll get his chest plate, but... I couldn't worry about betraying Lettuce now, because the perfect opportunity to get Jumper's helmet arose. Three new players would be logging on and they would be at spawn, knowing if we go and try and attack them, other players will come and save them, including Jumper. And we can take advantage of this, even though it's probably very morally wrong. So we plan to take the new members hostage, and when Jumper shows up, hopefully we can attack her after leading her into a little cave area, and she won't be able to escape like every other time. With the plan set in stone, we took action. Axel, uh, Axel, jump down, jump down. I'll just... Away from Whoa, Jumper. On, Jumper's yeah. the enemy. Jumper's the <laughs> Let enemy. Let me say Jumper's hi. Let me say no, hi. Yeah, no, the enemy. not the enemy. I've, <laughs> never, I've never, never heard a soul. Yeah, I do, I've I never do. heard a soul. Here, take this. Wait, where exactly are we? Come with me. Come with me. Alright. Jump down. What is it? Slash multiplier? Slash change display. Slash change display. Okay. Oh. Alright. You, you know what happens now, right? Uh, what is this place? Okay. Um, Should we do it now? Right. Okay. Let's join launch one or whatever the VC there. 
Uh, actually, drop your pickaxe. Oh, April no. April 14th, they got it. It took oh, them two no. months. Drop your pickaxe, Axel. Oh, no. But it was worth no. it. It was so worth it. No, 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 no. no. Okay, okay. okay. Caleb and uh, Jumper, get on. No, Jumper, I should have listened. Oh, no. All right, so. Oh. Here, let's see. What, what can we do? I mean, this is very, it's very clear that this is a hostage situation here. Uh, let's see. If no one comes to rescue you guys in the next five minutes, then I don't know. We could okay, just wait, kill wait, you. Wait, 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 even if we pay, you're, you're probably gonna kill us. Anyway. No, we're not gonna kill you. Um, I'll hide my way to spawn in, in case they try to do anything. Me and Will are basically. Uh, Axel, where are you? Where are you? Well, well, uh, we are better than this. Spawn Why? How did you. Fox, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. How did you let Axel escape, bruh? Yeah. Somehow, when Axolotl and Illegal Pie were in that little box, they got away. I mean, this was supposed to be the best team on the server. How are they letting gearless players escape with a wooden pickaxe? And although we did end up killing Illegal Pie, getting a multiplier, which could come in handy later, we really just wasted a bunch of time. So we thought of more plans to kill players, specifically Jumper. Because remember, I need her armor trim. But just as we wasted all this time, something made this whole situation a lot, lot worse. But before I tell you what happens, I'm actually getting pretty close to 100,000 subscribers. Yes, I know every single video on YouTube asks for this, but if you scroll down and subscribe right now, you can claim your OG ticket, proving that you were here before 100,000 subscribers. And after you subscribe, to claim it, all you have to do is join my Discord server. You'll automatically get a roll. But the thing is, it runs out at 100,000 subscribers. So if I were you, I would get it while I can. My my teammate main pair went AFK and somebody drowned him. He lost all of his stuff and the player who took it was Lettuce K, the same player who we betrayed. Finally, our actions were starting to show consequences, but it wasn't me so mad after all. It was main pair. Since his goal was getting all the power, being drowned like this made him seem like a weak little player, and he was not gonna have that. So immediately the next morning, we set up a campaign looking for Lettuce to ban him. But what do I mean by that? Well, on the server, you basically have lives, and when you run out, you get banned. And since you can kill players to take other lives, which is what the multiplier was earlier from killing Illegal Pie, we would just have to kill Lettuce a few times, which would also get Main Pierre's gear back. And while, yes, Lettuce did deserve his revenge, Main Pierre was still furious, and he made our entire team go looking for him for three days straight. Along the way, killing even more players to get their armor, even if they were innocent or only had one piece. Day after night, we were looking for lettuce and eventually main pair found him. And what he did is exactly what he said he would do. He banned lettuce. He's always the pros on because if I can just conserve- I got him. Oh, lettuce is another summer, lettuce is another. I see him. Don't get- He didn't have anything. What started as just a way to collect netherite off the server was going on to be something evil. I get that main pair was enraged by being drowned. I mean, he was humiliated, but he banned someone off the server. Now these players can't even defend themselves from taking the netherite if we're just gonna ban them like this. What's the point? I was thinking if I was going too far by doing this, but seeing how deep I was and how close I could be to getting even more trims, I stuck to my vow of getting the full armor set. And what seemed like getting repetitive by killing players was about to change a whole lot. You see, very, very soon, Soon, there's gonna be an election at spawn. Now you might think this is a perfect place to kill players, but you're not even allowed to kill or you will get banned yourself. Instead, we could do something that can help us get the netherite. Something to do with the king. You see, since there are five of us on a team, we can almost make this election go exactly how we want. Meaning if we can somehow get one of the candidates to ban off netherite on the server, then we would make sure that they would win the election, hence banning off netherite. But the only question was, who would do that? And that's when we all went to the first election to see who was running. Now, don't ask how, but I accidentally put my name in the register. So now I'm running for president, somehow. But after the first election, it was clear who was gonna win. A man named Dashing Prune. But the question was, would he be down to be a part of our evil scheme? Because chances are, no matter what we offer him, he might just do what's better for the server. After all, if anyone finds out about this, he will definitely lose the election and be banned off the server. Which is why we came prepared. Immediately 
after the election was done, it was clear that Dashing was definitely gonna win. So after killing Jaden for his netherite another time, we decided to make a call with his team and we would just have to pray that they would accept the deal. And if they didn't, they would tell the whole server and our plans would be foiled. So, um, I think it's no secret that you guys had the best presentation and, you know, originally the plan was to vote for Spongs and let him, okay, before this, I need to give you guys some content. So, um, I have a team who, that consists of me, Flame, Render, Spongs, and Willy. We all have the same motive that the general consensus is that we have to kill, we have to kill a lot, a, a lot of people. Regardless, we can guarantee a win for you if you just, uh, ban people from wearing netherite armor. Oh yeah. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll think uh, about it. We have to, we'll we have to discuss know. in a private call and we'll we'll let you know in like a little bit. Does this sound good? So while we awaited their response, I thought now would be a good time to try and ask Flame Frags for his armor. So I did, but he said no. He's not willing to just give up his chest plate like that. But the way he said no was very suspicious. He acted as if I was going to betray the team. Did he know that I was going to leave or something? Or did he genuinely think I was going to betray them? I mean, if anything, he's the one who's going to betray. I asked him one more time for his armor chimp, but he kept saying no. Maybe he was going to betray. I gave him the perfect opportunity to put the blame on me. Because if anyone on our team was going to betray, it was definitely going to be him. He's the strongest player. He does not need any help from our team. The more I thought about it, the more paranoid I got. Was he gonna betray us? I had no idea. But before I could think about it anymore, we spotted a player named Nightlight. Something about this player you should know is that he rarely ever joins the server, meaning his armor also could be valuable, and I could trade it for someone else's. So me and Render attacked him, and since Knight and Render are the same level of skill, this should be an easy fight for us. But it really was not. Knight was playing really, really well. Maybe it was just because our team was playing badly. Something seemed really off. Knight hasn't logged on the server in so long. There's no way he's this much better than us. But there's no real way to prove that anything weird is going on. So when he got away, we just thought nothing of it. And then came day two of the election. And luckily, Dashing had an answer for us. And since I killed Jaden earlier, I only had one out of four armor trims. So this would have to help me a lot. And to make sure no one found out, we decided to hop onto a high pixel bedwars game in order to discuss the meeting. So, uh, so here's our offer, right? We're willing to take your guys' things as suggestions, and the netherite thing that you brought up the other day, banning netherite. So we're down to do that, since that'll that'll also benefit us, since we mm -hmm. want to like regear. We, we want to make regearing easy, uh, and if we only have to get diamond gear, Ooh. that'll that'll be easier. Problem that we see is that let's be real main and flame are you two are the biggest voices of pvp no one else like like main brings up sword pvp everyone's like oh yeah, yeah. And flame's like no but if you guys like the pvp people are saying oh yeah this is good this is good then everyone will kind of just follow along the only like maybe objective will be like true but if there's five of you guys saying it true will be like oh i guess the majority wants it that's good so you guys are gonna have to enforce it and the fact that you're using netherite we might have to put bounties on you and we have to make sure that no one knows about this because not only like they find out about this and then all of our like our entire plans like it, it, it's not gonna work because they're not gonna vote for you guys and then they're not gonna listen they to it no. at the end of the server it could genuinely be this group chat versus everyone we had made our deal Next, it was back to killing, except this time we couldn't kill Dashing or Wookie, cause you know, they're now on our team, but the public couldn't know that. So we went around the server looking for even more players. I specifically was still looking for Jumper, and then we ran into a player named Caleb, and we were gonna go ask him to take his netherite armor off so we can have it. But instead, main pair just started attacking him while he was AFK. He was AFK, we should have just asked for his armor. Then he started running away, and all hope was lost. He got in a boat, but then somehow, Main pair found him underground. Was main pair cheating or did he actually just see him dig down? I didn't know yet. When we eventually killed him, they asked for his recording, which he so happened to not have. And then that's when he revealed to me. He was using a cheat known as F3A to see players through walls. And he was gonna tell me that his internet went out and that I would have to tell him that the recording was gone. He was gonna make me lie to the server. Sure, our goal was to kill all people for the netherite. But at this point, I think main pair was just killing for fun. We had a deal whether the netherite would be banned, 
Why didn't he just take it from Caleb instead? I didn't really want to be a part of this plan anymore. Even if it means I'd have to get the trims by myself. Maybe I can convince my team to betray Main Pair. But I couldn't betray Main Pair. Sure, he was considered to be evil, but he still helped me and let me on his team. But I couldn't leave. I would never get the armor set by myself, especially since Flame is unkillable. This was the worst situation we put in. But what if I got Flame's armor trim and then left the team? So then I asked Flame to meet up one more time. Hopefully he would finally say yes after all the killing we've done together. And luckily he did, but that didn't mean he wasn't suspicious of me. He thought I was gonna trap him or kill him while he took his armor off. But luckily we made the trade and I got his chest plate. I was halfway done. All I needed was KJ's boots and Jumper's helmet. Maybe I should just stay in the team. There are some good people on here. Spongs was picked on the entire server. It only makes sense for him to join this team. Main pair desires power so desperately after being in the shadow of Flame the whole server. And Flame won't let main pair overtake him. He needs power too. And Render, Render's a good guy. Uh, the point is this team wasn't just made for no reason. The players were chosen specifically for their motivations and skills. That didn't mean I still wouldn't leave the team after I got what I wanted, but it just meant I couldn't let it fall apart. The next day was the election, and right before, we planned to get a bunch of kills at spawn, since a bunch of people would be on right before it started, which is when the no killing rule isn't on. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized this would be the end of the netherite. They would kill every player at spawn. Isn't that a good thing though? Well, the two people who they would kill aren't even gonna be there before the meeting. Jumper and KJ. If they kill everyone now, then all the plans will be revealed. I can no longer use this team to get the other two pieces I need. I tried to convince them not to kill anyone and that we can wait for later. But the entire team wanted to kill now. They wanted to get this over with. They wanted to win. And then I did something I kind of regretted. I threatened to reveal all the plans if they killed right now. With everyone being speechless, we went on to the election. I could probably find a way to kill the other two players on my Even own. Even if not, main pair and Spongs will still be by my side to help me. But I really doubt another opportunity like that would ever arrive. When Dashing Prune's about to be elected king, which is good for us, right? Well, one of the players who lost the election, KJ, wasn't so happy. He didn't like how he lost, and he really didn't like who was gonna win. He started attacking the new king. Then I realized, boy, I, I need KJ's boots. This is the perfect opportunity to kill him. With the entire team there, ready to have a good reason to defend the king, we could kill KJ. So we hunted him down and found the tower that he dropped the TNT off of. We used tabless tricks and pie charts to find him. We found him and killed him, and I got the boots. Another armor piece down. One more to go. The final armor piece. Jumper's helmet. We knew that we'd been killing too many players and that almost everyone was drained of their netherite at this point. So then I started hunting down Jumper for a little bit. She was one of the few players who hasn't been killed yet, so I'm not the only one on my team who wants to kill her. It was the entire team. So then I tried to trap her logout spot. It didn't work. Clearly, I couldn't just do something simple like this. So I started making a plan to kill Jumper. If kidnapping enemies and trapping logout spots didn't work, then what would? So then we tried one last thing. Hunting a player so innocent, a Jumper would have to come save him. Yo, he's trying to get out of here. Yo, I'm offering multiplayer. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm offering oh, actually, wait. wait. No, I'm no, no. I'm offering multiplayer if I ever drop them. I'm offering multiplayer if I ever drop them. Wait, are they actually I'm not attacking you? And yeah, it uh, is. I'll just give you multipliers myself. Do you want some? Like... Give me two then. Oh, I'll, I'll give right. you three, baby. Give me three. This is with your twenty. You have to give me three. You have to give me three. Can I never know your your multiplier? Card? I'll give you four, Willie. So you have to give me another. <laughs> give me wow. Wow. If Why? If we drop one this? more, I'm gonna like. <laughs> I'm, I'm at give you five. Point one, bro. Why are you giving him the? Okay, <laughs> it has to be one more, dude. <laughs> I literally can't. Like, I physically can't. It. I don't have water! Okay, oh, because of that, he starts screaming at the here. top of his lungs. Are you serious? Are you actually, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel bad. bad. I feel so bad. No, Axel, stay here. Stay here. <laughs> and we waited for Jumper to come save him. Expectedly, she didn't. But this war has been going on for way too long now. One of the sides should have won. 
and that I should have either been banned or allowed. So then we came to a discussion. Both teams would fight until one came out on top, until every last player died or they surrendered. If we won, they would never be able to wear netherite again. But if we lost, not only would we all be killed, we would never be able to wear netherite ever again. This means we had to prepare for everything. The fight was in three days. But then something hit me. They can just surrender when they're losing, which means I won't get to kill Jumper. She's just gonna surrender if she's one of the last people left. And then she'll hide for the rest of the server and I'll never get her last piece. But I can't just tell my team to wait. I already told them that we couldn't kill before the election. We could have won right there. I just wanted to get my armor trims. And I still do. But that doesn't mean I have to take my whole team down with me. So instead, I agreed to the fight. Jumper will probably end up escaping the fight and I won't get her armor. But that doesn't mean I couldn't try. For the next couple days, we started grinding levels to get more hearts, items, and PvP. No joke, we practiced for the next three days non-stop until every last one of us was prepared for the battle. Our weakest player, Spongs, had a bunch of Turtle Master potions so he wouldn't immediately die. And we had two moles. Dashing and Wookie were on the other team, so they can just purposely die, not only giving us gear, but eliminating two players to attack. We even got some enchanted golden apples in case things went wrong. We scouted the area for traps and even made one of our own. Nothing was gonna prevent us from being as prepared as possible. We even paid one of the players not to show up on the other team, which was the biggest threat. Nightlight. But then something came to our attention. One of the people who are against the netherite team, Jaden, had an IOU. He can force whoever gave him that IOU to do anything. And that person so happened to be Flame Frag. He was gonna make Flame Frags betray our team. Was Flame actually betraying this whole time? I'm convinced he purposely gave Jaden the IOU just for an excuse to betray the team. Later I found out that he was the one on Nightlight's account, which means he was fighting us instead of giving away the netherite for free. With everything to do with me trying to get his chest plate, I'm convinced that this was all part of their plan. And there's no way we can win if he's on their team. No way I can complete my armor set that I'm so close to getting. I just need one more piece. So then we joined a call five minutes before the final fight and had a discussion. How would we keep flame frags on our team? Wait, what? what? Uh, I'm not that effective. Brandon, you fight. But... Oh, he's not gonna be at the fight. Fuck. Oh, wait, I can use mine. Wait, what? But I can't tell you what the okay. debuff is. Okay, no, 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 Flame. Can I use my IU to counter his? In what way? It depends what you say. Where you are, Brandon? I, I, I just say um, cancel his IOU. That's it. I can okay. say that, right? All right, so. I'm ready. I'm gonna tag. No, 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 because we gotta go draw the I'm gonna. Okay. If I don't ask, then... Luckily, Mean Bear had an IOU, which he could probably use to cancel out Jaden. But there's no way to know if that's even fair, and if we ask him, he'll obviously say no. So we had to take the risk and see if it was allowed or not, since it's the only way that we could win. And now knowing that Flame probably wasn't actually betraying, we went to the final fight for everything that's been leading up. This was it. I would have to kill Jumper and get her armor, or die trying. Alright, the second I get it, I'm potting up, okay? Uh, oh, I dropped my sword, <laughs> Oh my god. Get in. <laughs> okay, ready. Alright, guys. <sighs> yeah, everyone pot. Alright, don't, don't use corn carrots. You don't need those. My game right. might crash if Four, I crash. Four, three... Uh -huh. Two, All right. one, holy. let's go. Hot. Hot. They're targeting me. They're doing that targeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Miss? Oh my god, bro. Yeah, they are really I'm, targeting. I'm targeting right? dashing. I'm like a long time. I told dashing you guys, like, I got my first kill in the Minecraft server. They're gonna find that so suspicious. Just... No, dashing's not good. Targeted bad. Okay, who should we kill, bro? I don't know. No. Go. Lettuce, lettuce, go lettuce. Yeah, lettuce. Jeans, jeans. Um. 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 What? 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 Speak, dog. Ah, shit, I accidentally dropped the 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 the, 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 the tag thing. Alright, I'm targeting Wookie okay, now. Jumper's dead! Jumper's dead! Jumper's dead! Jumper's dead! No, I said, I said, oh. Bro. Wookie's dead! Nice! Get the loot, get the loot, give me the loot, give me the loot! But he can, it can mess him up in the fight, like, whatever. Yeah, I have time right now. There's no... Jumper's 
Come on. Okay, good. Should we, should we just hold? So can hold? Yeah, I can hold. Yeah, it's like Jade and Jumper, Pentard. They're in Lettuce or Jumper. No, I'm on Lettuce. Oh my god, I almost popped my totem. Uh, uh, Get my time, bro! He told him. I'm gonna go grab some. I'm on one. Yeah, but. Still. You know what I mean? I'm on my bad. He's on me. He's a he. It's hard target lettuce. Hard target lettuce. I'm actually getting. Oh my god. Turn away. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes! Okay, I got it. Nice. Dude. Oh, Jump running, I think. Oh, she's next to me. Hi. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Alright, I'm... Nice! Nice! Yes! yes. Oh my god! Fuck. Yes! Let's go! Fuck. <laughs> Wait, I need the helmet. What is Wookie? I'm, yeah, I'm going after. Tongs. I'm I'm oh going after Jaden. I'm playing that multiplier. <laughs>After literal months. I finally got my armor set. And if you enjoyed this video, then you're gonna love the one on screen. Where I use a super secret trick to make entire structures, my enemy's base, and even the entire world disappear in milliseconds. And don't forget to join the Discord and subscribe to claim your OG ticket.